Newspapers discussing Kew Gardens. Let us determine just what we have found here. Let us pour liquid from the bottle into a test tube to perform an analysis. This is the bottle that we found hidden at Kew Gardens. Let us use a pipette to take a sample of the liquid and fill a test tube. a colorless, water-based liquid. Quite a strong floral aroma. Holmes, what are you doing? It has a bitter taste. What if it's poisonous? Did you ever see poison stored in enormous jars like that? Anyway, there is a doctor nearby. So what do you think it is? It is some kind of organic compound. Let us vaporize the liquid and see what happens.
small colorless crystals. Colorless, tiny crystals that are soluble in water with a floral smell and a bitter taste. Watson, could you pass me that small bottle, please? Of course. Here you are. Uh, Holmes, do you know what it is? Wagner's reagent. There was a label on the bottle that you passed to me. No, Holmes, I meant the bottle that we found. Let me add the reagent and see if there is any sediment, and then I shall tell you. Red sediment, just as I suspected. This liquid is of organic origin. It contains some alkaloid. Most likely it is unstable, and that is why there is a quantity of gold dust to prevent contamination. This mixture is probably a fertilizer. Someone was carrying out unusual experiments in the garden's laboratory. My analysis table. It is useful for my work.
Champagne. Montague Dunn had good taste. French wine, a remarkable vintage. Look, Holmes, this charming lady must be Miss White. She's entering the seed house. Open. Good day to you, miss. You have some very beautiful plants here. Why, thank you, sir. And good day to you, too. But... Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. My name is Dr. John Watson. And this is my good friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I am honored to make your acquaintance, gentlemen. My name is Margaret White. Excuse me, but are you Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Yes, I am he. What a pleasure to see you here at Kew Gardens. Are you working on a case? Yes, a, a theft of plants that took place here a few days ago after their most recent exhibition. Oh, oh yes, of course. I quite forgot about that. Oh, it's quite understandable that you might forget about the theft of the plants, miss. After the tragedy that took place here. Yes. The director was a truly good man. It is such a terrible misfortune.
How well did you know Mr. Montague Dunn? He was a master, a great leader. I saw him almost as a spiritual father. He had an exceptional nature? Oh yes, indeed. He was always so active, and so optimistic, and very nice to me. Although, he could behave harshly towards his son. Why so? He loved his son dearly, and wanted the very best for him. It made him extremely demanding. Albert, who was naturally shy, suffered because of it. The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. Would you happen to know why part of the Colonial Collection was cleared? No, I have never been there. Do you work here? Part-time only. I am a biology student at the London University. I attend the same classes as the son of Mr. Montague Dunn. That is how I found my chance to work here for part of my thesis, you see. It is a great honor. Most of the doors in Kew Gardens are locked. Do you have a key to this room? Oh. Yes. Albert gave me a set of duplicate keys. He agreed I might carry out my studies without disturbing him. It is only temporary.
a thank you to this. None of the three people who work at Hugh Garbs know why half of the global collection is clear here. So, so, some is lying, it is obvious. 